Many times I'm doing things so you do not have to and exactly this goes about today's video as well. Ladies and gentlemen, today I am going to test out a new artillery patch at 15558 on the sandbox test server. New artillery because you know it, it is going under some changes over there, we are able to test out some changes, it is a sandbox server, let's give our feedback and so on. And uh, today I am going to give quite a lot of feedback about AP round. We all know, actually, I hope that you already know that AP round, of course, is super situational. I have said that like 10 billion times to you already, but uh, from this video you are going to see how situational it actually can be. I mean, when you are able to hit EBR 105 two times, right? Um, like, you are actually able to hit EBR directly two times with your artillery, and when this happens, well, you know how freaking situational it nice. is. Or when Mouse's armor is way too strong for you to be able to penetrate it. Or when all the stars are aligned so you were able to hit every single shot from the clip, three out of three, but two shots did only tracking damage. Yes, we know AP situational, but it is actually quite borderline useless as well in this game, and I do not uh, see any, basically any positions where people should use it over, let's say, damaging AG, for example because if you miss the result basically is the same but damaging AG always deals damage at least more about that maybe in my future episodes because today we are going to play with AP rounds exclusively right after you have answered to one of my questions so I was uh, diving into my analytics and I saw that only 15% of you have clicked the magical bell button why? Why is that? Well, hopefully you do that, uh, the order is set the subscribe button on fire and then Amorek the notification bell. Beautiful, thank you very much. Now, you just saw how we bounced off from that E100 and you saw some other clips on the background. And now I'm going to show you a battle um, which uh, to date is actually my best battle with AP round and this battle had actually a bit more potential. I would say uh, quite a bit more potential. You're going to see one choose a hit into EBR as well. Oh my boy! I think this battle is already worth watching by that hit or for that hit already. First shot of the day goes into 60 dp and boom penetration 406 like i'm i'm talking over here in extremely hyped way because it is actually quite ridiculously a bad to play artillery with only AP round, so I am doing it so you do not have to. And boom, that was a hit and a penetration as well. So do not forget, we have one hit and one penetration from that clip. We have one more shell left. And guess where I am going to put it? I think this was my first ever clean clip in this game. And yes, we are going to put that into a moving. Oh. oh, you can see the excitement. Into a moving EBR 105. You are welcome, D100LT. You are welcome. Both EBRs in this game have been destroyed, so I can breathe a bit easier now because the other enemy EBR actually drowned. Now, through the magic of editing, we are already fully reloaded and Territ 183. I was wait waiting for you and ding, 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 ding. Yes, we just bounced off. But we have 183, full side armor revealed. Let's see, and off you go. That was a direct hit, and let me tell you, it was actually a penetration as well with some damage. Now, while we're waiting, while we are looking for our next target, let me actually quickly talk about the ammunition as well, what we are using right over here, uh, ammunition values. So, it had 310 millimeters of penetration, so already for this SPG is quite a big alarm bell because 310 millimeters of penetration in many situations versus many targets is not going to cut it. On the top of that, it has 415 alpha damage if you hit, if you penetrate with 686 meters per second shell velocity. And of course, one of the biggest downside, what you may not see in this battle, but oh, I was able to feel that so many times times. AP round has the lowest gun arc, so there are many situations, many positions, many targets what you are not able to hit and or see only because of that. 
alone. So coming back to the AP round, why we are doing this test in the first place. They did say they added now three different shell types for three different situations, you know. They want to make uh, artillery more situational, they want to uh, bring some variety into the shells, into the gameplay, you know all that. Because right now we have one shell, we actually have only one shell, HE, on every single artillery. And uh, the difference between the standard HE and premium HE is actually just one meter extra burst radius, that is it. Absolutely no uh, second guessing or absolutely no decision making in the shells, right? Now they said we introduced three different shells. Right now we are testing out AP and I can say that you can already limit out the AP. Because if you use AP especially for your long range shots, you are basically putting yourself and your team into disadvantage. So did they achieve anything adding the AP round to it? Uh, nope, uh, same f feedback, giving them the same feedback as I did in my uh, previous sandbox uh, artillery ammunition review about the AP round, it is on the borderline useless. So no option over there, we are left with two shells, damaging HG and stunning HG. It's just my opinion, it is just what I was able to figure out, what I was able to see in the games as well, because many times I did check what other uh, artillery players were doing as well, and many other artillery players tried to beam around as well, and they averaged roughly 500 uh, to, let's say, 800 damage, which means either one hit or two hits, you know, 400 to 800 damage, either one hit uh, with AP, or two hits with AP throughout the match, ladies and gentlemen, throughout the entire battle. Like eight shots taken, one hit, one pen. I don't know, seven, five shots taken, one hit, one pen. That's it. That's what uh, they were able to do. And same goes to me, actually. Many times this was exactly what I was able to achieve as well. Only one or two penetrations and that is it. All in all, this test was uh, to prove uh, is this AP round worth it in any kind of situation and honestly, honestly, looking at the amount of misses artillery gets, uh, like RNG shots, uh, bounces, tracking shots, no way it is worth it. Damaging AG over AP is like 10 times, 10 times better, even in close range, even if uh, you think you are going to penetrate with AP round. So that ammunition rework on the sandbox server right now was not a success in my opinion. But now let's play one live battle as well and let's see what happens. Laughing my ass off in World of Tanks, I have to wait 30 seconds for a match in sandbox. It is instantly because I had to wait for minutes because everyone is trying to queue up in uh, the artillery yes 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 okay ladies and gentlemen welcome 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 let's see how this one goes uh, not going to cherry pick anything let's just play and let's see how it goes hopefully that ebr is going to be destroyed after of course i was spotted did i get spotted no i did not get spotted i knew that i was just uh, uh, pretending i am a bit scared okay let's do this um, e5 trying to penetrate e5 is going to be Almost mission impossible, but trying to penetrate that guy, hopefully, is not going to be mission impossible. <coughs> mission impossible, trying to hit that guy. Well, at least um, you see exactly what I mean by uh, TR and uh, G, you know, R, N, and G. Oh, wait, I can't hit that. I can't hit that because of the arc. E5. Off you go. Ooh, 415. 415. Like, I've actually been able to take only two shots. Now, one EVR is dead. Mm. Okay, you are going to turn and now accelerate, but... Okay, oh, look at that! That shot, that shot was my shot, guys. That shot was actually my shot. Um, <clears throat> you know what? I think the safest position for me, where I can be right now, is actually up here. Let's be behind the devil's back, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is the safest place for me to be right now. I have been wrong before, so... I have seen the world doesn't stop spinning when I'm wrong. Um, there is DVP. <coughs> DVP, come on, turn, 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 turn. We need DVP. We need to see DVP fast. Boom. Hit, direct hit at least. Effie is going to have a little surprise for that DVP. That guy's going to... 
I wanted to say that guy is either going back into the garage or is going to turn around. EBR is uh, smacking enemy artilleries. Can we counter enemy artists somehow? Oh yes, we can. Oh yes, we can. Please keep aiming, keep aiming, keep aiming. I hate it. This guy has like ultimate tunnel vision action. Ultimate tunnel vision. Okay. Nice. Now that should be a one shot to the EBR. And E50 is coming up. If I get spotted by the E50, I'm dead. Maybe. Oh, by the way, we are catching up. Our team is catching up damage wise. That four hit point EBR did. What a job. What a job indeed. <clears throat> Let's try to artificially increase our uh, gun arc, you know. Being over here. <clears throat> and we are winning. Score wise now. <clears throat> Turn. Now. Okay, Commander Hatch Snipe. Snipe. And is this guy... Does this guy keep moving back? Oh my god! Okay. We might have the best battle right now. We might get the best battle right now. Um, can I be sneaky at all? Okay. Team player right here, ladies and gentlemen, team player, Badget, going in for the final call. And boom, and let's escape. And FE fired, FE fired, okay, FE fired, now they should move in ASAP, if I took E50 shot, I took FE shot, that guy's dead, and um, <clears throat> anyway, live, play together, I was able to get my record battle. Did we have any blind hits? We had! We had a blind hit into DVP, guys. Okay, so this is basically the best scenario for you. And that Type 5 is going to get wrecked by FE. Like, how are you? This was AP exclusive budget 25T15558 AP. Come on, let me see it. Blind shot into DVP was 407. So, 2800 damage done is by far the highest amount of damage I have actually been able to get uh, on the sandbox with the AP budget. And it happened together with you live right over here. So, ladies and gentlemen, in a defeat as well, by the way. Uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think about that. Let me know what you want to see me testing out in uh, one of my next episodes. Uh, uh, using the new artillery. One of my next ideas is going to be artillery, but only counter firing. You know, playing with artillery, but only trying to counter fire. Let's see how effective that is. Uh, but if you have any ideas, you know what to do. Comment section is for that. And if you are down there already, beautiful people, just amorect the subscribe button and set that notification bell on fire. Or was that vice versa? Either way, you know what to do. Much love, stay awesome, stay sexy, stay naked, take care, and bye.